topics. Product placement. <laughs> oh, there's lemon in it. Ah, mm. I'm surprised. Okay, touch of fruit. Mm. Uh, okay, a bit from Twig, moving a bit backwards. Uh, Trevor, wait, don't forget to uh, let me know time wise. Okay, um, uh, Tig, uh, Tig, for the non Irish, Tig means house, but the game Tig uh, with the idea of touching is implied as well. Then the spring <coughs> population stays put in its region of birth, the Great Lakes of North America. Then, of the autumn born population, one third hibernates, while the remaining two thirds set out southwards on a narrow and wavering route. It's a journey of 3,000 kilometres down to South Texas, northern Mexico. On arrival, they gather in one or two valleys on particular conifers in their millions and rest there till spring and mate. Then this immense blizzard of wings begins to move northwards, travelling in a more leisurely way, feeding and laying their eggs along the route, the train's shadow flickering over the fields. The monarch is a long-lived butterfly, each individual surviving approximately one year. Their migration pattern is as follows. A child nearby at a window, migration pattern is as where the world tracks past, a very young child, so happy, so taken aback, she sings, follows. And it beats, disclosing, enclosing, flash, fold, flash, close, slit, show, shock, blind, shock, black, shock, light exuding over the visible, light intruding on the visible, light corroding the leaves, leaving only the light. Their dispersal patterns are as follows. Map, stop, count, then immense upsurge, white, red, amber, dark. The need for flattened bark-dwelling insects to get away from predators on tree trunks may well have provided the selective pressure that led to the evolution of wings. Between rains, we lay listening, lay waiting, you know me. Rain on glass to the side of your face, a door shut in a corridor. And flick forward to the section, uh, bread. <laughs> A sack of white flour fell off a lorry outside a funeral parlour. There was a funeral in progress. It was raining and the flour congealed and became slippy. A man with a haversack on his back crossing the road stepped on a patch of the porridgey mess. Whorls of branchlets swept and trailing to the water's rhythm. The female can be seen as a green oval flask shaped surprise. The male spherical, orange, sculpted exterior that breaks into eight sections in maturity, releasing clouds. Throwing himself to the side of an oncoming van and into a cyclist's path, the front wheel jams in a drain, the cyclist lands on the bonnet of the van, his bicycle topples onto a dog sniffing a wet stain on the back tire of a hearse, the van hits a bollard, the cyclist slides off, the haversack carrier rolls to safety, and no lady looks round. The funeral's fiscal graph line rose. The sets were perfect. The lead got up. The hearse driver looked round. The van driver got out. The bus stopped. Traffic lights changed red. A goods train trundled by on a bridge overhead. Black, orange, black, orange, black. Frequency times length equals velocity. Hello? Yes? Splendid. It's a quarter past three, midpoint in the wave. Essentially, a poem is a flat surface covered in part by groupings of 26 quite well-known symbols. As to each delicate item in the hive, your trivia is as engaging as my trivia, and sticks, then palps to the paralyzed hymenoptera. Busy, busy, busy. Or, a song is a, a song is a, a song is a shape. Sonnet. From the nine facts, the typist is Charlotte, and the nurse must be Alice. The hostess lives west of Charlotte, and Doris lives directly north of the typist. Therefore, Doris can't be the hostess. Putting the results into a small map, it will turn out that Alice lives four miles south and three miles west of Doris, which, by Pythagoras, makes the distance five miles. And Betty, of course, is the hostess.